HGLV1 is a virus most commonly found in people from the Caribbean, South America, West Africa and Japan. This virus causes a cancer called adult T-cell leukemia lymphoma. My partner passed away from this cancer last year, leaving myself and our one-year-old son. HLV1 is spread the same way in which HIV is, through sexual intercourse, through blood and through breastfeeding. Only in blood donations and organ donations, there is no other routine screening for HTLV1 in the UK. Approximately 1 in 20 people who have HTLV1 will develop a cancer called adult T-cell leukemia lymphoma. If they contracted the virus from birth, they would likely have had severe dermatitis or eczema as a child. In adulthood, around 30-40 years old, they would develop the cancer and at this point their lymph nodes would become very swollen, they would have digestive problems, night sweats amongst other symptoms. People who are carriers of the virus have no symptoms and they can live their whole life not knowing that they were spreading it. Those who have the cancer have a life expectancy of approximately one year. We need to make change happen and stop other families from losing loved ones. HTLV1 should be screened for routinely here in the UK, especially in high-risk pregnant women. If they are found to have the virus, they could not breastfeed their baby and save their baby's life. This cancer is incurable, and the cost of screening is significantly less than trying to treat someone who has the cancer. No other family should go through the heartbreak and the pain in which we have gone through. This virus can be stopped, by screening. Screening for high risk pregnant women needs to be made routine. HGLV1, not another family.